Hello, welcome to Fit 50s. Today is day two of staying at home. So I wanna share some tips to help you. What's helping me because if you're like me, yesterday I was feeling so off, feeling like everything is it's unreal, you know, like this can't be happening. So I think it's so important to take mental breaks and to work on things that you can control. So for me this morning, that was going into my bedroom and seeing that my bed was a mess. So I made my bed, I can control that. So I wrote a list, the new norm, self quarantine checklist, things that I can control. Right now my, you know, my gym shut down, the mall is shut down, the malls, the restaurants, the grocery stores, pharmacies, gas stations, stuff like that, they're open but I don't wanna just keep running to the grocery store and all that. So I think it's important. I really feel in my heart that I need some stillness just to sit with my feelings and work on some things. So I'm gonna share. I wanna try not to have to edit this video so I can just get it out and get it released. I'm feeling a little thirsty, so hydration is important. things that I can control. I can allow myself to feel, feel what I'm feeling. So a great outlet for this is what I did was I did some reflective journaling. I just wrote everything down. I feel like I couldn't release everything on paper fast enough. So if you're feeling overwhelmed, and my husband has a high stress job and he's working a lot from home and I have to remind myself to take mental breaks because he doesn't think that I have stress, but his stress affects me. I feel it. So that's why I'm out here right now doing this video. So journaling is a great way. Meditation. For me, it's taking meditation breaks. I get on YouTube. I find some meditation music. It helps calm me. It helps center me. So meditation is so important to your health exercise. I didn't exercise yesterday because I felt so off, but today I made sure I brought my trampoline, my mini trampoline outside, and I put on a video and I got in 20 minutes of exercise. I felt good. Then my husband came home and I started feeling stressed. So, you know, mental health breaks. Take mini mental health breaks. Get out of your PJs every morning. If you're on, you know, your home and your kids are home, it's important for you to get up, get dressed, get your kids active too. Do something with your kids. My kids are grown, but my youngest daughter is painting. That's how she is, you know, handling everything. She's having a creative outlet. So that's an amazing way. Pull out your canvases and your paints and just start creating. <clears throat> Eat healthy. If you have healthy foods at home, make sure you are taking time to eat. When I get stressed, I don't eat. So it is so important to take this time to eat. Be supportive. If you know someone that is going through high stress, in my case it's my husband, be supportive for that person. See if they need something. Be supportive and reach out to them. See if they need something. Do they need lunch? You know, do they need some water? Because they might not be focusing on what they need at this time because they're in high stress. Oh yeah, this is a good one. So I hold my breath a lot. This is 11 tips. I hold my breath a lot. So I've been practicing even before all this happened, deep belly breathing. So you wanna breathe into your belly. You want it to expand and release it. I noticed that one day I was at the gym and I was really hitting the intense cardio and I started yawning and yawning. I'm probably gonna start yawning, just talking about yawning. Yep, here it comes. Oh, sorry about that. And I knew it was because of my breathing. So I realized that I breathe from my chest. So be aware of how you're breathing. You definitely wanna pay attention to that. And if you you know do feel stressed, like me, sometimes you'll see that you're not even breathing you're holding your breath so that is very important and drink water I don't know if I said that one already but you want to drink water water you want to stay hydrated 
because if not, you can even have more mental fog and do a daily self check-in. That is so important. Check into how you are feeling. Get your pen, get your paper, say, you know, write, how am I feeling today? Write those thoughts. I'm telling you, releasing stuff on paper can help you so much. Let me see what I wrote. So this is the last, I wrote three pages. This is the last um, little paragraph that I wrote today, March 18th, 2020. I pause and breathe. I was writing so fast. I felt like all the stress was leaving, but it was overkill. I just like, I couldn't slow it down. So I actually paused to do a deep belly breath. I pause and breathe. I call upon God. I call upon God to give me the strength that I need. With God, I am strong. I am strength for my family. And I sign my name, Deb. So it's just important to, you know, write down what you're feeling. Get it out on paper because I don't have the information in front of me, but there are some studies done on just by releasing that, writing it, you're releasing that from your body. You're releasing that tension. So I hope this has helped you in some way. I know today may seem a little difficult. It may seem like you can't handle this. You have the strength within. You just have to figure out ways to help you during this time. So maybe you need to reach out to someone, reach out to a friend, stay connected with people. You know, do daily check-ins with them too to make sure that they are mentally doing well. For me, it'll be my aunt, she's alone. My, my 85-year-old mother-in-law lives with us. Well, she does not stay home. As soon as I go outside on my patio and do something, when my husband leaves, I'll come back in and she's gone. She has snuck off, yep. She's highly active and she does not like this one bit. So I'm not sure how I'm gonna get her to stay home. I know she is feeling lonely because church has been canceled her choir practice has been canceled and like I said she's 85 so she's feeling this a lot she has many questions and I reassure her because you know I think she wants to feel okay she wants to know that everything's gonna be okay so I do the best that I can to be honest and supportive of her so get creative, maybe write a letter to a friend, send a card, also my aunt, she's alone, she's by herself, and she doesn't live close enough for me to go check on her. Maybe things are changing, you know, what you were able to do before, you can't do those things anymore. So get, cre you know, get creative and reinvent some things. I've been wanting to work on this self-love type of box. And I, you know, I'm just probably going to work on that. The other day I was doodling, I was drawing, I was writing things. Just a way to release stuff. If you have kids, get creative with your children. I used to, oh my gosh, I was a PTO mom. And I loved coming up with things. Pinterest is a great place to look. I used to love coming up with things, making for the kids, stuff for the kids. And you know doing the parties at the school and just coming up with fun ideas to keep your kids active maybe it's getting up and you know moving with them being silly being if you're not a silly person maybe it's doing something different and being silly and making them laugh you definitely want to make your children laugh my youngest daughter can definitely make me laugh she's hilarious and I feel fortunate that I do have a family and you know I feel loved and I'm so grateful to have you fit family just you know stay connected share stuff in the comments and if there's anything you want me to make a video about and then you know if I can do it and I will do it just stay connected try to stay positive work on mental breaks and I love you and my <laughs> the wind is picking up I don't want my phone to crash but I love you, Had amaz have an amazing day. Sending y'all so much love. Mm -hmm.